Hi, it's Matt Layton with the news briefing. As South Australia prepares for a new government, the Prime Minister insists he's not worried about a similar face on a federal level. Peter Malinowskis has led Labor to a landslide victory, while outgoing Premier Stephen Marshall is in danger of losing his own seat. He's since stepped down as SA Liberal leader. Scott Morrison brushing off any concerns of a repeat in the looming federal election. Anthony Albanese is not Peter Malinowskis. He's, he's not... <laughs> Um, any of the other premiers. He's not Anastasia Palaszczuk. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's none of these other premiers. Um, he's the federal Labor leader. And one thing that I've noticed is there is a big difference. Australia has announced more support for Ukraine and sanctions against Russia. We're blocking our exports of alumina and aluminium ore, which normally contribute to 20% of Russia's critical aluminium production. Meanwhile, we'll send Ukraine another $21 million in defensive military assistance, $30 million in humanitarian aid, and we're opening up three-year visas for Ukrainian arrivals. Family and friends of cricketing great Shane Warne have bid him farewell at a private funeral in Melbourne. Warney's three children and his parents were joined by about 80 guests at the St Kilda Football Club. A state memorial will be held at the MCG on March 30th, with tickets expected to be released later this week. And two bodies have been retrieved from a dam northwest of Brisbane. A kayaker alerted officers of the pair believed to be tied together yesterday. With Money Me, you get low interest rates and approvals in minutes. Download the Money Me app today. Approved applicants only. T's and C's apply. Hawthorne has opened its 2022 campaign with a 20-point victory over North Melbourne at the MCG. It was extra sweet for James Sicily, who returned after 19 months out of the game due to an ACL setback. The Hawks defender says it's all a bit emotional. And to get the win, have fans back. That's so awesome. Man. So yeah, we're pretty lucky. Adelaide and Fremantle are facing off this afternoon at Adelaide Oval a short time ago. The Dockers were in front by 17 points. for the limestone coast, a low of 11 degrees on the way overnight tonight. Tomorrow, some early morning fog before a top of 24 degrees. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand. <laughs>